Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Andrew here at Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 at Franklin's Garage. I uh, just came back from the junkyard, just went and bought this Chevy or Supernova here by made by Bolt. Uh, it actually does have a small block in it, small block Chevy. Either 305 or 350, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but since the last time that uh, we were all together here, I have made another purchase. Now, I did purchase this BMW M1 Pro Car. Um, eventually here we're going to build it up and make it look all nice and uh, hope we make a little bit of power out of it. Even though it is only an inline 6, let's hope we can make some kind of power. But on today's episode, it's going to be a little bit different than what we've been doing. Most of the time, that's my Porsche. Uh, most of the time when we're on here, it's just me ripping the car apart, building the motor, putting it all back together again. Well, on this episode, what we're going to do is, I have a Porsche Carrera GT, and I went the wrong way. And it's a little down on power, you might have to add. Now, I ran it on the dyno, I'll run it again. Now, it's supposed to have 612 horsepower, 435 foot-pounds of torque. Now, I did change the motor. This is the one out of the last Porsche that we made, or created. I went and fixed some of the parts that we required and put them on. So yeah, as you can tell by looking at it, 438 horsepower, 323 foot-pounds of torque. It's uh, down quite a bit on power. It's, it's down 178 horsepower and 112 foot-pounds of torque. Now, what my intentions are is to take this worn out motor and before I pull it out and completely rebuild it, uh, what I, what I want to do is, you know, change the parts on it. like. Uh, the fuel rails, throw the upgraded versions on it, fuel filter, fuel pump, um, intake, uh, throt or, yeah, throttle bodies, you know, air filters, stuff that I can do without having to actually pull the motor out of the car. And that way then we can, as we add stuff to it, we can actually throw it back on the dyno. Um, so let's start out by changing the basics, one of the easiest things to change, fuel filter, fuel pump, and the exhaust manifolds. So we'll purchase them right now. All right, let's see. Uh, air filter, where are you? Right there. I need two of these. Uh, we're not gonna do the camshaft yet. Cause if we're gonna do that, I gotta take the whole motor apart and I don't, well, the whole front end of the motor off. I'm not really in the mood to doing that. Um, maybe we'll change the coils. Actually, we can also change the computer. Give it up upgraded ECU. Uh, let's see what else can we do. Uh, well, obviously we can do the exhaust manifolds. Uh, we're gonna do the intake, fuel pump, fuel filter. Oh, what's that? That's fuel injector. Wrong, wrong part. All right, where are you? Right here. And two of them. Ten of these. Uh, what else do can we do? Uh, oh yeah, the intake. Right here. Uh, what else can we do without actually having to rip the motor apart? I would do the plugs and do the coils. We need ten of these bad boys. And we also need uh, two DX throttle bodies. Which are right here, oh, DXA. We need two of them. All right. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna change the fuel filter and the fuel pump. Put in the upgraded version of that. And we'll work our way all the way back to the motor, and we'll put in the upgraded fuel filter. All right. Now uh, remember, it was at 435 or 436 horsepower and 323 foot-pounds of torque. Let's see what the difference is. Let's see what it will make. Let's 
start test. I guess we bumped it up a little bit. It's now sitting at 448 horsepower, 331 foot-pounds of torque. So that is an increase of 12 horsepower. Now, let's change the fuel rails next. Actually, right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the air filters. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. They look a little, they look a little dirty anyway. Put in the V10 980 air filters. Almost look like cane ends. And now, uh, what are we sitting at right now? Oh, wrong one. What are we sitting at right now for horsepower? 448 horsepower. Let's see what we can make. My goal is to get it back up to 612 horsepower, if not a little higher. Okay, okay. Let's see, from 448 to 460 is 12. And so we bumped it up 14 horsepower just off the air filters alone. Alright, next is going to be. Uh, what should we do next? Uh, let's do the exhaust manifolds. Holy bolts for days. We'll do the driver's side and we'll do the passenger side. Installation is, re is the reversal. So we'll do the passenger side first. Oh, nice and shiny. Alright, now we'll do the driver's side. If I can actually get on it. Right now we're sitting at 464 horsepower. This car came 612 from the factory. horsepower increase that's not bad it's a pricey increase but still not bad all right we're getting somewhere we're only what a hundred and 110 horsepower away all right next thing is to do the fuel rails That's the next job. So we're going to install the upgraded fuel rails with each one being 2% increase. Not a whole heck of a lot of an increase. Huh. I don't know. What were we at? Four, six, or 502? I think it said. Yeah, 502 horsepower. What? What did I do wrong? I forgot to install a fuel rail, didn't I? Yes, I did. 
right there. But I thought I did. I guess we all know what happened to that thought. She's screaming now. Five hundred and twenty three horsepower. That's an increase of twenty one horsepower just off fuel rails. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, all right, next is we're going to do spark plugs and coils. This time we're going to do the passenger side first. Oh, well, that should be interesting. Don't tell me I gotta take everything apart. There's a plug. There's another plug. I ain't getting it from there. There's plug. There's another one. And there's that one. Alright, so. Whoa, hey, slow down there, Skippy. Five hundred and twenty three horsepower. And need to make about ninety ish more. And we could basically call it a day at that point. But my goal is to make somewhere right around six twelve ish. I should get pretty close with the parts. I'm hoping anyway. Because the last Porsche career we made, we made 1,000 horsepower with the fully built motors. So It's weird too, these coils you can paint, but the performance ones you can't. It's kind of weird if you ask me, but it is what it is. Pull one plug. Two plug. Zoom right out to do three. Four, five, or if you were counting from the other side, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we install the new plugs and the new coils, and let's see what we make. Remember, right now we're sitting at 523 horsepower. Hopefully, with these, we make around 550. And after that, it's the intake, then it's the throttle bodies, and then the ECU, which ultimately should put us right around 612, if I'm not mistaken. Remember, we we're sitting at 523 last, last run. Holy smokes! Plugs and coils bumped us up 58 horse. Well, we're at 523. 60 would have been 60 or 683. No, so we're holy smokes! I gotta do a little bit of math here. 
Just a little bit of math. Let's see. 591 minus 523. We just gained 68 horsepower off plugs and plugs and coils. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. What next? And this was the original transmission out of the other Porsche Carrera. I just put it through the uh, old fix em up stage. Along with every other part that looks new, it's actually off the other Porsche. I just cleaned it up. Uh, what next? I think now we'll do the throttle bodies. Actually, no, we're going to do the intakes first. Dang, there's a lot of bolts on this motor. Now, when I put everything back together, I'm going to put the old throttle bodies on it. Because the only thing I'm changing here is the intake. That is it. However, because it already had these fuel rails on, I'm going to put them back on. But these... Go back on. Till the next run. Then it'll be... Then they themselves will come off and I'll put the new ones on. But in all theory we should be right around our horsepower number, if not a little bit higher, with just the intake swap, so we're at five ninety one. Pretty sure I just double check. Walk down the car. Yeah, we're at 591 horsepower right now. Let's see what we increased it to. Six hundred and eleven horsepower. Hmm. I see we've already reached our goal. But am I really happy with just that little bit? No. Alright, so now it's gonna be the throttle bodies. Right now we're at six hundred and eleven horsepower. I think it's pretty good considering all I've done is added literally a few parts and pieces. Um, am I missing something here? Oh. I didn't just... I didn't even have to take this all apart. Wow. Aren't I Bethel? Alright, so right now we're si not sitting at 611 horsepower. Let's see what we can do now with just changing the throttle bodies. And putting the upgraded versions on them. Six hundred and twenty horsepower. Right now we're already eight above. The question is though how much money have I spent? You can go back to the video and check it out if you want. But I believe the only thing left for me to do without bringing the car into the shop and putting it on the lift 
is well I could I could change the camshaft but I'm not going to is we're gonna change this old ECU we're gonna put something a little bit nicer in look at that now before I tune it with the ECU let's see what it makes it made what 620 yeah 620 horsepower eight above factory so let's see what it makes with just the ECU before it gets tuned Holy smokes. That, oh, okay. 650 horsepower. So far we're at a gain of 38 horsepower at 7%. And torque we're at 25% increase. Or... 25 foot-pounds of torque increased and we're at 8% above factory now let's go see what this thing set at it should be set well 6% all right now how did I do this last time Last time it gave me struggles too. That's part of it, ain't it? There we go. Oh, I gotta bring you back up. There we go. Now, oi, what's going on here? Ooh, 10%. That's 1% more than the Carrera I did last time. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. We'll apply it to the tune. Now, uh, plug it in here. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. There we go. Yeah, let's see what it'll make. It made 650 last time. I think. Yeah, 650 horsepower. Six seventy. Six hundred and ninety eight horsepower. All right, that's it for the upgrading aspect of this car. You know, well, like I said, I can do the camshafts, but that's basically about it before I gotta start putting it on the lift and doing all that other stuff so but the ECU does have a 10% tune on it so that's not too bad correction it says 18% huh who knows what that means but what we're going to also do is we're going to build ourselves a small block Chevy for this car right there so we gotta look for all the v8 ohv type f's like this right here the filter we need that uh camshaft we will need ohv f hey get back here right there oh wait wait we need, we need carburetor May as well get all the stuff since we're in here, right? Oh, there's one. Oh, two of them. Uh, we're 
There they are. And two of these. One of these. One of these. Oh boy. Now it's the fun job. I need this. I need this. I need this. Uh, huh. Oh, there they are. Now, where is me intake? There it is. Sure glad the uh, Fierte manufacturing company started making these for this. Well, for the longest time they didn't. Mm. I'm gonna wait on these because I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's the piston with connecting rod, the basic one. But it could be Hemi and it could be OHVB. I'm, I can't remember. So we're gonna wait on that. However, power steering pump, that's pretty self explanatory. OHVF. If you get what I'm saying. So we need eight of these. don't need anything from here. I wish I could put a supercharger on it. You know, this one right here would look pretty superb on it, but uh, I need these. Don't know why I need them. Oh yeah, gotta go to the first step. Right here. Perfect. Alright. V8 OHVF for the base. And then the cover is right down over here. Now we're going to need an OHV. Oh, I don't need a belt tensioner. An OHV timing uh, gear. Okay, right there. V8 OHV, I think. Yeah, that's the one. Now I was debating whether or not to make a full stock block motor. I was going to say stock block. Or if I was going to do a full on race. Uh, you only live once, right? So, let's make, let's make the most of it. There's the crankshaft. I need, oh, I don't need that pulley. I, I don't need that one either. What the? Huh. I need this pulley, I think, or is it this one? Yeah, I'll grab both of them. Who cares? You got a little bit of money to spend. Can't take it with you when you die. These valve covers are expensive. If I can find them. Oh, here's one. Look at 400 bucks. It's more expensive than. Oh. Yeah, it's more expensive than the Porsche ones. What does that tell you? Alright. Now, I believe it is this oil filter. Uh, oil pan F. F. On this pig, it, 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 right there. Uh, I want to say B. I think I could be wrong. Make sure there's no other special parts needed. I know the push rods are for specifically for this motor. 16 of these. Uh, eight of those. OHVF. Where are we looking? Well, there's OHV. Huh. Oh, that's right. It's only one belt. Right here. Timing, on the other hand, it's a couple of them. Where are you? I found you. Oh, I love the look of this timing cover. 
Just like the one that's on my 91. Need 16 of these. Now we need the water pump, which is right here. I don't believe we need a water pump pulley because I believe I already have lots of them, but eh, we'll get it anyway. I'm pretty sure I have everything to build the motor. And away we go. Oh my god, where is it? There it is. V8 OHV. Hey, get on the motor. There we go. Put the crank, crank caps, and pistons in. I believe this one too also has the uh, short rod bolts in it. I could be mistaken, but. What? I guess I didn't buy any. Huh. I think I went a little too far. These extra parts of or these extra cars that have shown up really messed up my list. All right, piston time. Well, wouldn't you? Well, wouldn't you know it? Just regular old pistons, and regular old piston rings. Oh my God! Where are you? Ah, uh, someone's told me I think I might have went too far. Because, uh, you yeah. know. There, right here. But that's not what I need. I need the performance ones. Need seven of them, I think. Yep, seven. This one hopefully, well not hopefully, but it should be a short video. I'm not expecting it to be the typical 40 to 50 minute one that I normally do. Two more pistons to put in. done this. I'm put the oil pan on, I'm put the clutch assembly on, I'm put the throat bearing on. Oh, missed one. Oh no. Tell me this isn't the epitome of a sleeper.
What? Is that not type F? Is that not the ones I purchased? Or did I remember something else I had to get in? You know what? We're going to do this the easy way. Huh. That's funny. Huh. That's messed up. Maybe this might work. Well, it does have the OHV stuff in it. Uh, what was I trying to do? Oh yeah, push rods. Perfect. I need 16 of these bad mama dramas. Push rods. Oh, I already put that one in. And it's pretty quiet. Hey, bell cover time. We're gonna do plugs and manifold, but we're gonna do the manifold first this time around. And now we're gonna put the four plugs in for this side, and we start on the other side. Push rods and eight ruckers. Probably gonna make about 530 horsepower, give or take. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more. I can't remember, it's been a minute. I did my last one. Still have it, it's in my parking. Step. So what we're probably going to do is, since the motor's already built, uh, we're probably going to build the M1 Pro Car motor, and this motor will end up getting put in my warehouse until such time when I'm going to be working on the or on the Supernova, which is the same vet. So I'd love to put this motor into a Corvette, but in this game, or the Reptilia. The R1. What? Gotta deal with what we gotta deal with. Alright, where are you? Right there. Perfect. A little, re little reach around. Plug in, two plug in, three plug in. Oh, we gotta work on the last one right here. 
to this side anyway. Oh wait, the other side's already done. Ha <laughs> ha! Manifold. Now we work on the front. Water pump, water pump pulley, belt, and an idler roller. Aha, I forgot the I forgot the bracketry. I got me the wrong what? Oh no. I actually got me the wrong uh uh alternator. Having a brain fart there for a minute. Well, I wonder if I have any, do I gotta buy it? Well, gotta buy it, of course. Story of my life. It's supposed to be uh, look for the alternate. Why do I go all the way down there? When it's right here. Alright, next is going to be the intake and distributor. It's find it easier to put it all in when you don't have the air breather on it. I put the rotor in, which I bought one. You can rewind back to the video and you, oh, you can see I bought one, but maybe I didn't. Alright, I'm pretty sure I got everything else though. Get back there. Stubborn. going to be it for this and also too that's going to be it for the video tonight um, please do like share and subscribe leave a comment tell me what you want to work on next or what you want me to work on next and I'll try to make it happen I have a few cars um, whatever the junkyard and auction or buying don't have I normally have it so 
all right everyone thank you very much for tuning in and please once again like share and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one have a good night bye